So I recently upgraded to the Galaxy S9 Plus and because of that, I had to reinstall all my apps. So I thought this would be a great time to give you my list of the must have apps for crypto traders. Now, without a doubt, the very first app that you'll wanna download is Coinbase. And if you're not familiar with Coinbase, this is probably where most of you will need to go in order to get your first Bitcoin. And if you haven't signed up for Coinbase yet, I do have my referral link down below. Now, if you do use my link, both you and I get an additional $10 in Bitcoin. So I'd really appreciate that. And it definitely helps this channel. Now, although you can purchase crypto directly from Coinbase, currently their selection is pretty limited. So my next recommendation is downloading the app for Binance. And Binance came on the scene sometime last year, 2017, and just exploded in popularity. I have to say, in my opinion, Binance is by far the best exchange to use. And they have an app for your phone. Now, the last time I used their iOS app, it kept crashing a lot, but I'm sure they have fixed that since then. But the Android app works flawlessly. Now, I wouldn't recommend to use the app for all of your trading. It's definitely not the most efficient way to go. But if you're in a pinch and you need to buy or sell a coin, the Binance app has been fantastic. And since now you are an official crypto trader, you definitely want some way to keep track of all your trades. And the best way that I found to do that is using an app called Blockfolio. Now this is definitely the app that I use the most. I constantly find myself every few minutes opening up this app, refreshing it just to check all of my balances. So with this app, not only can you see all the current prices of your favorite coins, but you can also input your buys and sells, making it very easy to keep track of your profit and losses. And of course, we all hope that you have more profits than losses. And now we need to dive into security because we are dealing with money here and some of you were dealing with a lot of money. So you absolutely want to keep all of your accounts secure. And the best way to do that is using two-factor authentication. And the app that I prefer to use is called Authy. Now Google Authenticator is another popular application for 2FA, but I prefer Authy. I just find it much easier to add or remove devices. For example, I just got this brand new phone and with Authy, all I needed to do was sign into my account, add my device, and now I'm able to use Authy 2FA on this new phone. Now, the last time I used Google Authenticator, it may have changed since then, but it was real pain to transfer your information onto a new phone. So that's one huge reason why I recommend using Authy. The next two apps I'm actually gonna to group together as social media apps. And this is really gonna depend on how much you wanna get involved with the crypto community. Because if you want the latest news and announcements, you definitely wanna have Twitter and Discord. Now I found that Twitter absolutely has the most active community in regards to crypto. There's a bunch of people giving you updates breaking news, or just development announcements. And this is crucial when you're trading in and out of cryptocurrency. Because if you don't know already, news definitely affects price. Cryptocurrency on its own is extremely volatile, and it's not uncommon to notice that certain news articles can pump or even dump coin prices. And if you have a favorite coin, it's a very good strategy to start joining their Discord. Now, Discord is basically a chat room, and most of the coins have their own Discord group. And this is a great way to get involved with that coins community, as well as get the latest news before the general public. So if you want to become a successful crypto trader, you definitely have to get familiar with how the cycle of news and media can affect price. And finally, the last app is actually an app that you probably don't even need to download, and that's a calculator. Now, I can't even tell you how often I have to pull up my calculator and do some math. Whether this is figuring out what a 10, 20, 30% gain is, or even just figuring out what the US dollar equivalent to the certain coin is. So a calculator app is definitely a must have. And what I like to do with all these apps is just to organize them all into one folder and I title it crypto. So whenever I need to do anything crypto related, I just pull up that folder and have all my crypto apps in one location. So hopefully this video has helped you out in some way. I definitely wish you the best of luck with all of your crypto trading. But that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.